but it does require. But do you think that's doing it to see? Uh, you got cut off. I didn't hear it. Well, because I'm not. Oh, do you think God's doing this to see like who's ready for a greater solution? Because I'm not talking about Facebook. I mean, who gives their attention to griping on Facebook? I don't, I can't even relate to that at all. But I guess what I'm saying is, is it pushing us to a deeper solution? Like seeing the pollution for a minute stopped on the planet and tuning into the earth, having this opportunity, not just what do I do? Poor little me, my bill needs to be paid, but the whole Perhaps do we stop eating? Perhaps do we become a breatharian race? Perhaps do we take that consciousness really to the next level? Because I guess when I'm tuning in, that's what, what is happening for me. And then I'm not really knowing where, where, where else that's happening to find, like it's so exciting to get that solution from God. And then, and then now how do you put it into action? You know, because I find that some of this is, it's God's play because how else will it push, like you said, to wake up, but to wake up to what? Not just knowing that we're God, but to then finding the solution to live in coherence if we want to continue being on this planet, right? Like how much have we destroyed things in the last hundred years that this planet, we need to nurture her. So isn't this the space where when you tune into that electricity, those brilliant solutions can come out of, and then we got to plug in together to co-create them, right? Um, that planet that has been dis destroyed in past hundred years, it's been created by God, it's been destroyed by God, and it will be rebuilt by God. The same people who destroyed it, they were, God was operating through them to destroy it. It's the same source. It's like God is playing both sides, the good guy and the bad guy. And, okay, so so and, then just find your place in it all to find joy, because it's that's what you're saying. Then so you're saying don't take it so personally and just like whatever. It's absolutely impersonal. Whatever is happening on this planet, it, it is impersonal, and it's a part of the phenomena. It's a part of the duality. And whatever force, dark force you encounter on this planet, the opposite of it exists simultaneously. Because this is the dimension of dualities. Everything is balanced. None exists, none of it exists without the other side. They both exist simultaneously. And it's the same source, it's the same potential, infinite intelligence, potential that wants to experience both sides simultaneously. It wants to experience life through you, from your point of view, and the challenges you're going through right now with maybe where you're living or maybe with income, with or your concern about environment or what's going to happen in the future, whatever is happening through you is exactly what God wants to experience through you. All your experiences are God's experiences. Every thought comes through your mind, anything you feel, it's what it wants to be experienced. And similarly to other people, the ones that you feel like they're in robots. Uh, it's Rachel, right? Yeah, sorry, yeah, I had Rachel, to unmute. Yeah. yeah, no, this is yeah. super helpful, so, by the way. Like, I really appreciate this, yeah. Yeah, so Rachel's in La Jolla, and then you see a lot of robots there, and a lot of like square people, and frightened, and you go to get your coffee, and they're still taking space from you or they don't want to look at you or talk to you. So, so right now, what's going on is a period of contraction is happening. And the energy is always contracts and expands. That's the way it moves, the way it gets expressed. So right now, we're experiencing this period of contraction. And if you lived in 1938, 36, 37, 38, 39 in Europe, 
then you would be at the, the time that the World War II started. And it was very frightening, very dark. They were shipping people to concentration camps, burning them, cooking them, torturing them. It was a very, very dark period of time. So this and, one is, go ahead. And God is also behind the helm of that, is what All you're saying, it. is you're saying, wow. All of it. All of it is God. All of it. The guy who's torturing and the guy who's getting tortured, they're both different expressions of the same one because none of them can exist without the other a none of them can exist or does exist outside of the source everything is consciousness so none of these guys can exist outside of consciousness so they're all being run by the same power source, same electricity is running through both of them. None of them has an independent chip or entity that they're operating on their own. They cannot operate on their own because they don't exist. God is the only one operates them. So if you can go deeper in this teachings, this revelation, this way, and start looking at things from this angle, this is the expansion of consciousness. You start looking at it from that place, then you start seeing things. Things begin to reveal themselves to you. You will enter into another dimension. You enter into a new and more expanded consciousness and peace will come. And one way of it is to simply recognizing the watcher within yourself, recognizing the observer within yourself. Are you there? Rachel? Yes, I'm listening. Okay. All right. So let me elaborate on that one. What do I mean that? Like the mind, you said the mind, wa the mind wants to go crazy, especially if you're not trained. What's happening in the world? What's going to happen? I can't believe it. Look what they're doing. The world is going to be destroyed. Blah, 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 blah. So, A, you want to disconnect from being responsible for the world. Don't worry about the world. The world's been taking care of itself ever since the ever since. The planet Earth has been around way longer than you and I can even imagine. We can't even imagine how long it's been around. Obviously, this planet that supports life and has got all these species, because we're not the only ones, has managed to feed them because we're being fed by the planet. If the planet doesn't want to feed us, we're all going to die. And if the planet finds us that we're cancerous and we're dangerous, all it needs to do is shake itself for 10 or 15 minutes. And human life will end. And it has the ability to do it. But obviously it's keeping us around. So we can't really damage the planet. It's way more intelligent it's been around billions of years, and you and I have been around 40, 50, 60, 70 years. So we just don't have the intelligence to match it. It's beyond us. 